again, this is about the Attorney Ge General going after and prosecuting their political enemies. And if you don't believe that, just listen to what she said before she was ever Attorney General, right? We're gonna go after Trump, we're gonna go... It's... Yeah, we're in New York. It's... Okay, is what it is. Listen, I... I sort of a boring cross-exam. I thought they were gonna go somewhere, but I think they understand that they have uh, nothing as it relates to a case other than I guess an overzealous attorney general who would destroy all of New York business by going after transactions where there are no victims, uh, you know, I guess other than herself. Uh, but you guys have got to think about the precedent that this case sets. If an attorney general can years later, after all parties of transactions are paid back in full with interest, making hundreds of millions of dollars, where they have no complaint, where they said they wouldn't have done anything differently, where every witness, as it relates to my brother and I, every witness that the attorney general has called have said that my brother and I were not involved in the statement of financial condition. That even includes their star witness, uh, the perjurer in chief, Michael Cohen, who's perjured himself probably more times than any human being I can think of. Uh, even he said, perhaps the one time he was actually telling the truth in all of this, that my brother and I had nothing to do with it, but it doesn't matter because it's a witch hunt. It all you know, before um, before I decided to start listening to conservative news and listening to anybody give me some information about conservatism or anything that supports Trump or MAGA or anything, I bought into the idea that um, that rich, wealthy white people specifically were evil and um, and that I, I wasn't supposed to like Trump or his sons or his daughter or anything that they represent because that's what we're taught. We're taught that they're the evil ones, they're the racist, they're, they're against everything, right? But then what happens is when you start to learn the truth, when you start to learn just a little bit of the truth um, and you find out that these people are actually doing the right thing and the people who are feeding me that information are actually doing the wrong thing it kind of blows your mind it kind of blows your mind so what he's talking about right now is the precedent that's being set to be able to um prosecute your political um what you call it not enemies but people who are running against you right so what's happening is they've been doing that at nauseum to the Trumps. It's not about trying to make their name look bad. It's about really trying to arrest them or put them in a situation where in certain states, Trump won't be qualified to run because uh, they want to make him a felon. They want to make him um, legally incapable of running. That's what they want to do to him. And the precedent is, okay, so since this is now out the bag, is something that y'all do already to me, then I guess if I become president, then I can do the same thing because now that's a rule. And you already know MSNBC, CNN, and The View, they tried to completely change that up and took out the other parts just to hear just to hear Trump say the one thing that he said, which was, if I was in that position, then I can do it too. Um, then I will do it too. I can go after every single body that went after me. Or I can go after everyone who deserved to be in jail and or who deserved to be in court answering certain questions about their shady business dealings, which would be the Bidens. One thousand percent, bro. One thousand percent. Somebody said I'm based. I am not based. I don't even know what that means. But at the end of the day, I think that they're on to something. This is this does set a precedent. Always has been. But the precedent that it sets for New York business, you know, if you don't perhaps donate to the Tisha James re-election campaign, I too will go after your billion dollar transactions. Uh, it's ripe for extortion and corruption, but you know, that's what you get from the Democrat party in New York these days, it seems. So uh, it, it's a scary precedent. I don't know how anyone could do business in the city uh, with that. Anyone you speak to who's actually in banking, who's actually in real estate understands that. Uh, if based means I'm correct, or I'm wise, then um, yeah, I am base. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Base means very good. You didn't, yeah, then I guess I'm base. <laughs> I guess I'm based. <laughs> but again, they don't want to put themselves in the crosshair, so perhaps they'll be silent. So uh, it, it's a disgrace that this is happening right now, but I think we'll make our points, we'll make our case, and we'll go on from there. So you guys have a great day. And Letitia James is not hiding the fact that she wants to take them down. Like, does she think this is a TV show or something? You know, like on TV shows, it'd be lawyers just looking at you like, I can't wait to take you down. I'm gonna find something. I'm gonna find something. And that's what it is. It seemed like that's so, it's so counterintuitive. It's not gonna help us get to a point where 
the conservative side and the liberal side have a basic understanding or even want to understand one another so that we can work together and do some amazing things so that everyone, all parties involved are benefited. Right now, the way that they're doing it is they want to keep everyone at odds so that they can be able to do whatever the heck they want to do, man. And that's that's never going to be the answer to fixing anything, bro. It's never going to be that. Thank you. Now, listen, uh, you know, I got to find out about my aunt passing away, literally. Yeah, not really what I want to talk about, but now I got to, you know, literally... About as I pulled up here this morning, I found out, you know, my aunt passed away. Not a great swing thought. Yeah. R.I.P. to Aunt Trump. R.I.P. to Aunt Trump. All right. Come on. Y'all give me some um, some some prayer hands or some some hearts for for Aunt Trump, for Auntie Trump. You know, what I mean, just she she almost made it to 2023 Thanksgiving, which is the best holiday in in the country period i don't care what listen some people say no veterans day is the best bro. let me tell you something thanksgiving is like christmas but you ain't gotta give nobody any gifts only thing you do is bring the family together and eat commune make sure everybody's good check up on them and eat all the food be as gluttonous as we want all right so r.i.p to um to auntie trump for sure yeah. in the back of your head as you're going uh to deal with this sort of insanity uh, I'm very close uh, with her grandson. We hang out all the time, and so it's a, obviously a, a rough day for that. But, you know, it, unfortunately, it is what it is. This is what it's become, right? Uh, you know, every day there's going to be another nonsense, another lawsuit. They're going to keep trying. And re reality, facts, uh, that doesn't matter uh, because that's where we've gotten in a politicized country. So uh, it, it's a shame, and, you know, it is a shame. deal with that accordingly. That sucks, actually. I think I'm done, actually. I don't, you know, I, they, they had the opportunity to cross-examine me, a rather mean-spirited attempt to try to do something, but they didn't get into any details in the cross because they've been able to play this out in, a, in the press. You know, Donald Trump Jr. doesn't know anything about the finances of the company, according to, no, they asked me specifically about the statement of financial condition, one document of billions, and like I said, every witness that they have said has, under oath, said that, Eric, myself, we had nothing to do with the document. No, nothing. Even Cohen, like I said. But that is the basis for why we are apparently already guilty of fraud, having never even heard from us at that point before ever hearing from these witnesses. So that's why, you know, it's a little bit ridiculous, right? You can't even make your case before, oh, wait, this is it. Well, the document that you're relying on this, you're not, I'm not supposed to rely on a big five accounting firm, like one of the biggest accounting firms in the world. I can pay them millions of dollars I rely on them to do accounting, but I'm supposed to know more than them. By this logic, insurance companies are going to start suing patients for listening to their doctors. Right. Right. You understand, <laughs> like, I, am I supposed to know more? Oh, Don Jr. doesn't know anything about it. I'm not an accountant. I'm a business guy. I went through each and every one of our deals. Had they asked me those questions, I could have very easily answered them. But I can't answer questions about a document that literally everyone acknowledges I had nothing to do with. I rely on the accountants to do that. I, I, it was, you know, perhaps there's a New York personality there, but no, I, I think he understood. I, I can't help myself even in this very serious situation. I, you know, if you take yourself too seriously, the world sort of sucks. You got to have a little bit of fun with it. So, so I did. We had some. You know, quips in the courtroom the first time I was here sort of gave me a fist bump on the way out. I guess I had a rather snappy response to something that was, I can't even remember what it was right now. And he said, that was really funny. And sort of, so, you know, you well, well, your about how listen, I, I, I'm not going to, I, I don't even know how far the gag order applies. So, you know, I, I don't need to do that and put myself, I mean, enough crosshairs, guys. Uh, you know, but again, this is about the attorney general going after and prosecuting their political enemies. And if you don't believe that, just listen to what she said before she was ever attorney general, right? We're gonna go after Trump, we're gonna go, it's, well, we're in New York, it's, okay, is what it is, but but that mm. doesn't matter because it's also New York, because it is so one-sided. One uh, and, you know, that's the reality of the world in which we live today. So we gotta, we gotta play accordingly. Uh, but I imagine, you know, as you'll hear from our other experts and witnesses and the banks and everyone, 
they'll totally back up our side of the story. I just don't know that any of that matters because, unfortunately, it doesn't feel like, you know, we're playing by the rules, we're playing by a one-sided system of justice. So, why is there thanks, guys. That's true. That's true. Um, it's one sided right now because what's, ha what's happening is we allow when whenever somebody's side has power, they, they believe that they can do they believe that they can do whatever they want to do. We encourage that. We encourage it. We allow it to happen each and every time. And it just is what it is, man. Um, it's a game that they love to play and they don't even take us into account. We are the citizens. It should be about us. It, it really should be about us. But at the end of the day, it's not. It, it really isn't. We seem extremely naive when we even say that it's supposed to be about us because it's almost like they, they take us into account when it comes time for us to, to vote. All right. When it's time for us to go get in line and vote, then we then then we're important. They wanna do all of the commercials and um, and come after us and make sure that they get as many of us on their sides as possible. They want to seem presidential. They want to seem like a governor. They want to seem like a senator. They want to seem like a congressman or congresswoman. They want to seem just so they can um, earn our votes. That's it. But at the end of the day, um, sometimes if our vote is not going in the direction that power wants our vote to go, um, they would just make it so. And I'm not even going to speak on that too much because I don't want to get in trouble. I'm not about to get in trouble when it comes to it because um, it is what it is. All right. 